Welcome back to Tactics Core Plays Mass Effect 2. My name is Kevondre. My name is Bobby. Last time we did Lair of the Shadow Broker, right? Uh, yeah, fairly certain that's right. Yeah, yeah, I think and so. And it was fucking awesome. It's like, pretty we, good shit. we didn't have a whole lot of dialogue in that game because I was just watching it. I was like, holy shit. Yeah, they, they I didn't get to experience that at all. That went all out with it. <laughs> Bioware does a great job with their DLC, real talk. They really do. Yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, Lair of the Shadow Broker was last time. It was pretty dope. Uh, this time, we've only got three loyalty missions left uh, for now. Um, I'm going to... Here's the list of them. Uh, one, Jacob loyalty. Two, Samara loyalty. Three, Tally loyalty. Uh, once I've done one of Jacob or Tally's, then I will add another option to this list for Alexa to choose from. Um, but since I'm definitely going to be doing all of the ship upgrades, I need to do both of those before we go get the Reaper IFF. Or I'm going to do at least one of those before we do the Reaper IFF, but we're definitely going to do the other one. Samara so loyalty, I'm here nor there on. I don't really care. If we do it, great. If we don't do it, I don't really care. Which is a shame because I think that has a... Oh, you didn't turn your phone off I'm before gonna. we recorded. You motherfucker. I wouldn't do that. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, her daughter just fucks people to death, and I want to see that. All right. I want to see a lot of that. But we leave it up to the robot to decide. Exactly. D4 is a thing, right? Uh, yeah. Alexa? No? Oh, shit. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Why the fuck are you having Take trouble? Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. Well, fuck you. Do you have a D4? Your phone does. You gonna download an app for that? No. Uh, excuse me, I'm not sure why she is not connecting to the Wi-Fi. Because it looks like it's working. Ah, oh, fuck you, my usual place doesn't have it. Lil. Mm -hmm. I know a way around this. You can just roll her a D6 and then we'll just double up. Ah, oh, screw that, I'm rolling a D100. Oh. And we'll just keep rolling. No, no. Because, yeah. One, two, three. We can break this up. One to 33 is one? Yeah. Okay. 34 to 66? Yep. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Well, and then it rolls 100. Yeah. <laughs> Let's break this. Do the thing. Uh, 40. So number two. <laughs> Fuck fucking you. course. I love it. Uh, okay. So, it was roll dice online. It's a thing, but they go from D6 up. So. This fucking lying whore. Every time. How do they have D4? They're the little bitty pyramids. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I recall that. Is there a thing in this one? Or do I have to squaddle? I have to squaddle. Oh, hey. The Wizards of the Coast thing has a good one. Wizards like of the Coats. You're at one half capacity. So I rolled the D4 on the Wizards of the Coast one, and it gave us two. All right, it's just meant to be. So, yeah. Let's go to Omega. It makes me happy. <laughs> Mr. Man, 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 I don't care. Man, like, bitch, your daughter fucks people to death. How do you not want to see that? <laughs> I've seen it. It's boring. Well, okay. I hope that Alexa gets her shit together because there is an, a nice choice in this one that I'd like to be able to choose. Oh, yeah? Well, you know, we got the Wizard of the Coast thing. Yes. So we'll figure it out. One way or another, we will have a robot make these decisions. Right. We're not making those decisions, motherfucker. Right. This 21st century, we got robots for that shit. You know what? This might actually work out. So then, like, next time, we'll only have the two choices. We'll do one of them. We'll go grab the Reaper IFF. We'll do the other one. And then we'll have another mission, and then we'll finish off the game. Not that we're finished after that, because we've got a DLC thing to do after we finish the game. Oh, great. But... So you still got like 10 more episodes, people. Yeah. Hang in there. It's going to be great. Oh, no, I probably need some more, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <coughs> I coughed and died. 
Damn, look at those spikes. Yeah. I have a loud cough. Fuck yeah. Heavy warp ammo, motherfucker. Oh yeah. Um, boop, 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 boop. Damn. Sapiens. Biotic abilities. Oh yeah, weapon damage. You use that more. What's Reeve? It's a uh, pretty good. Uh, damage. Huh. I like it. I think I like throw better than pull. Oh yes, and it'll do the throw field, the Kobe field. Nice. Okay, I can see her powers being very useful. Yes. However, given the reputation of Ardan Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. Come on, let me in. Let's go talk to uh, Trinity. Oh yeah? Yeah. Because uh Trinity's pretty nice. I like her. Do you? Yeah. I only said Trinity because I can't remember her name from Jessica Jones. By the way. Shit. Because her, her Carrie Ann Moss, right? Yeah, that's the. She's also a memento. Yes. What do you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. This data pad was on one of the mercs going after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like you... to tell me how this information slipped the net? I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You do that. Let it play. Now I'm having real trouble remembering her name is the lawyer. I know, right? And it was a good name. And she's a great fucking character. Why am I having so much trouble remembering this? I feel like it's just like on the tip of my tongue. Look it up, and as soon as I get done typing it in, and hit go, I'm gonna remember it. <laughs> Is that Shepard? Shepard's supposed to be dead. It's right there, I swear to god, it's right on my fucking tongue. Before we go into the apartment, Bobby's gonna... Oh. Oh, am I? Sure. Fuck, where is it? Because it's gonna bother the shit out of me. Ah. Hogarth! Yep. Yes! Before <laughs> before he even said it. Yep. Just like he said. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hogarth. That's it. What's up, girl? Are you here about my daughter? She's dead. My nep died a week ago and... No one seems to care. I don't. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my Neff. My baby. You probably shouldn't have named her Neff. Yeah, it seems like a uh, I'm looking bad name. into your daughter's death. Are you one of Arya's people? No, I'm not. I'm not Arian. I'm working for Arya. Are you ready to answer my questions? I don't care if Arya sent you. You're asking about my Neff. That's what matters. Then why'd you ask? The on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. She's gone. And nothing will fix that. We what ain't no paragon. Happen? She never hurt anybody. We need to look in your daughter's room. No, she was just kind of kinky. Disturb. I'll try. But if my investigation requires it, I'll do what I have to do. Please try. 
For me. Pitch. Please. I'll examine her things. Yeah. Your daughter may have been just perfectly nice, but she was kind of kinky. And this is horror movie month. And the first rule of horror movies is the whore dies. True. Now, whore may be a vulgar term for somebody just looking for a little bit of a kink, but those are the rules. I don't make them up. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime. Don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I was sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for secures, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the helix is flowing through me, the way she looks at me with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vic Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. And she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. She kills with sex, and I have no plans to sleep with her. Perhaps you have a right to be glib, Shepard. But caution is wise here. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds like my kind of a sorry. You joke, Shepard. But for all your might, you will be in great danger. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. You sound like you're working your way toward an idea. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. She seems to have very odd ways to talk about her daughter. Yeah. It's almost like she's done this before. Yeah. Several times. Yeah. All of Samara's daughters are Adayakshi, by the way. Oh. That doesn't mean that they all go around sleeping and killing people. Aww. What do you want? <laughs> Fair enough. Me the rest of Afterlife's nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Jarut. to the lines. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Can ja rule. <laughs> you must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. 
I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. All right. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go sex it up. Don't be like that. I got creds. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. You got a mouth on you. I'll enjoy watching you use it. The lady asked you to step away. You want in on this transaction? Hey, I don't care if it's you or this bitch. I just like good times. It bothers me that there are people actually like that. Yeah. Good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. I like her chin strap beard. Yes. Oh yeah. A part of me wants to get creepy about that. Like, yes, it reminds me of the uh, the Amish men during my stay in Etheridge. Oh yeah. Good times. The lesbian town. Yeah. Uh, hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? What kind of help? My friend Moira is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Floyd. He's the worst of the worst. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Floyd's on her. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Flirt, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order. Please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, terminal and eternity. In that order, just work them into a sentence. All right. Jesus. Hey man, if you gotta be specific with code phrases. Something I can do for you, lady? Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My omni tool's been broken for an eternity. Seems to have taken her a minute. I'm done talking to you now. <laughs> I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. Bitch isn't coming back. I'm gonna find her. The music used to be avant-garde. Used to be avant-garde. Thank you so much. I thought she was She had been fine. Hey. Hey! I'll dance next to you. If you want to think we're dancing together, go ahead. I do nice. want to think that. Is that actually dancing, though? Not what Shepard's doing. My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? That's not weird. Yeah, that's not a not an odd way to raise that here, at all. No one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. To be fair, if Tonight a guy said that you. to me, I'd be creeped out. If a girl said that? that to me, I'd be like, fuck yes. I know what I Let's like. Let's go. Do you? What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? Hmm. Do I need to roll a thing? No. You wouldn't have heard of anything I like. Very I think hipster. my taste in music is shallow. Is my opinion that important to you? It must be. I'm talking to you. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Halex? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Vayenya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. 
When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. God, be more fucking emo. Damn. Yeah. Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? Yeah, man. My apartment is nearby, and I want you alone. Let's do it, fam. Yeah. Very stealthy, s'more. Yeah. She stands in front of red smoke because she's wearing a red shirt. And that means it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it means she's about to die. Let's be real here. Red shirt equals soon to be dead. Suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. See, Bobby would be in the morning just for that. Yeah. I, uh, I have bad taste in women. Yeah. I was into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. Yeah, I How love that Alex moment too. You want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. I love clubs. People, movement, heat... All of that's bad. Still hear the bass, yeah, like there's nothing about that I enjoy. Great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted, and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? I'd rather fight than hide. Yes, better to take control of your fate. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission. I think we share that, you and I. You compare us, but you're nowhere near my league. So strong. I need this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. I'm not the victim you were hoping for. But you. Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Yeah. What's up, girl? Marin. Got to wreck your shit. Yeet. Mother, do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter. Mother, you made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Marin. I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this, so I must die. You are a disease to be purged, nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. Oh, shit. All oh, right. All right. Let's see if she's working. Alexa. No, if she's, she's dead. I don't know why. I'm oh. having trouble connecting hey. to the <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, did you do? So, I got a little dice roller up here. Okay. And then, uh, top one, bottom two? I mean, unless you just got, like, a coin to flip. I do not have a coin. Oh, we have a coin! Oh, we have a coin? Yeah. Hooray, a coin. Okay. Alright, so, heads, tails. Okay. Let's try again. Let's try that again because I flipped it right into the light, so let me find a way where I'm not looking into the fucking light. Uh huh. Tails. All right. Coins will be more useful to me. You will regret your choice. Yeet. <clears throat> nice. Goodbye, mother. Hot damn. <laughs> Thank you, Shepard. My mother was as powerful as she was hateful. You helped me. Now I'll help you. Let me take my mother's place on your team. You don't seem to care at all about the death of your mother. Why should I? She was dead to me long ago. But I'll keep her alive for you so you don't have any complications with your crew. I'm a dead ringer for my belated mother. Few people can tell us apart. 
and I've practiced long and hard to mimic her in every way. If I closed my eyes, I'd swear you were Samara. It took years to perfect, but when I was younger, posing as my mother brought its advantages. How do you think I originally escaped from Thessia? Let me just slip into this horrible uniform, and none will be the wiser. Let's go. This is going to be fun. Well, <laughs> it is an unusual thing where that happens. I'm guessing that was the choice you were hoping for? I, well, it's... I don't know if hoping for is the word I'm looking for. Um, we can go be killed by her if we want, but... With, with the sex thing? Yeah. Like, it doesn't actually sex. She's just like, embrace eternity, and then Shepard just like catches fire and falls to the ground. It's kind of stupid. But, well, that's dumb. Yeah. If you're going to have a creature on your crew that kills people with sex, at least have the sex scene. Yeah, I know, right? Right? Even if it's like hidden underneath a, uh, was it, hot coffee mod or something yeah. like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Precisely. Um, I mean, because that'd be great. But yeah, so uh, apparently we have more now. Uh, yeah. It's not really what I expected to happen today, but that's cool. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. All right. Uh, so yeah, let's do some shout outs then. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and probably start off because yours is game relevant and mine isn't. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do a shout out to Angry Orchard Green Apple. Uh, specifically the Green Apple version. I think we've done a shout out to the regular thing before. I believe uh, so, yeah. I'd never had their green apple. It's not all that common in the few places that I went, but apparently Cavandre had had it at a friend's house recently, mm -hmm. and we were at Bethmo the other day, and he's like, hey, try this. It's just a bit sweeter, and I love sour apple things, but I know he doesn't, so I'm like, oh, well, all right then. I'm down for this, and I tried it. It is a bit sweeter, and it doesn't have an extreme tart taste to it. It's just like a little bit of a tart aftertaste, enough that you could ignore it, but if you're paying attention for it and you like that shit, it's there. I like it. So, uh, yeah, we had those last night. Yeah, I like it. It's it's just like a sweeter version of the regular one. Yeah, it's the good stuff. Which is what I'm after anyway, because I usually just added sugar to regular Angry Orchard. Yeah, although if you want sweeter Angry Orchard, just go with Woodchuck, and it's fantastic. But Bevmo doesn't carry Woodchuck anymore here. Yeah. And I'm mad. Because Bobby's the only person who bought it. That's probably true. Uh, as for me, I'm going to do a shout-out to... I'm going to butcher the fuck out of this name. Uh, Natalia Sigliudi, or Chigliudi, or something. Yes. <laughs> um, she is the voice of Morinth. Um, we won't really be hearing her voice all that much because she's going to be impersonating Samara for most of the important scenes. Okay. Um, so you won't really get a lot of her. You'll still get Maggie Baird for most of it. But um, she does a good job at that role, I think. Um, also, she's in Joe Dirt, and that seems to be the only real thing of note. So, She was in Joe Dirt? She's Dr. Sue in Joe Dirt 1 and 2. Huh. Yeah. I'd be damned. Yeah. But yeah, so that's uh, our shout-out for today. Next yeah. time, we will do either Jacob or Tally's Loyalty. You know, the, the two that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. Yeah, it, it's great. <laughs> yeah, I've been but betrayed. I, I'm, I'm glad that my little dice roll thing got us to Samara's Loyalty Mission, where we did the exact opposite of a Loyalty Mission. Yeah, that's true. We just straight up betrayed her. Yeah. Um, that's fine. Anyway, okay, goodbye. Goodbye, thank you.